We know that if you go out inside and you see many species, why do they coexist? It's because they survive and reproduce in different ways. And what's a little more new, we tend to think of spe a single species as being homogenous, but no. It turns out that there's diversity within a single species, even within a population, and those individuals are coexisting because they're surviving and reproducing in different ways. So when we studied individual differences in fish, here's how we did it. Uh, we threw in minnow traps, shiny metal objects, no food or any kind. These were uh, little pumpkin seed sunfish. First thing that happens is they scatter. And then the next thing that happens is some of them return and they're sucked by their curiosity into those traps. And then we removed the traps after 10 minutes and we caught the fish that did not enter the traps with a seine. And now we had this difference in by virtue of how we caught them. And then we could study that in the laboratory or we could mark them and we could put them back in nature. And, you know, it's pretty easy to understand that if you're the bold fish, you're the first to get the worm, and you're the first to get caught by a fisherman. So that's that you grab life by the horns, sometimes you get gored. And if you hang back, then the bad news is you don't maybe eat as much. The good news is you don't get eaten. Not too hard to understand. <laughs> and so, and so um, this is... Um, uh, how individual differences can be maintained. Now, one of the surprises of this research is that what we used to think of as shyness and boldness actually turns out to be something else, and that is how much you attend to information in your environments. And it turns out that some individuals, this is another kind of individual difference, individual difference. Some individuals are inattentive. They just kind of do their thing, and they're not, you know, we know people like that. <laughs> And other people and other individuals uh, are processing much, much more. And the way this, is, this was first discovered was they'd catch birds and they'd put them in aviaries and they'd ask the question, how soon do they start hopping around and exploring their environment? So some started immediately. Others hung back. That looked like bold and shy. But the ones that were hanging back were actually, they were just taking it all in. <laughs> and then and they could act in a different way.